As long as Cronus had reigned, gods and men lived on terms of mutual understanding. Hesiod says, In those days, meals were taken in common. Men and the immortal gods sat down together. Everything changed with the coming of the Olympians. Over men, Zeus asserted his divine supremacy. However, Prometheus succeeded in deceiving the gods, causing Zeus to fall into a rage. In his anger, he withheld fire from the unfortunate race on earth. But the astute Prometheus traveled to the forges of Hephaestus, where he stole the holy fire and carried it back to man. material ever made. I, Aphrodite, will give you the qualities of love and desire. And I, Hermes from Hades, will contribute hatred and anger jealousy <laughs> and fear bad things demons evil spirit <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I don't know. It's such a beautiful day. I mean, the sky's so blue and this plant and the trees. I guess so. Come on, let's go take a walk. I'll show you how beautiful everything can be. Okay. This jar, I wonder what's in it. I promised Epimetheus I wouldn't open it. It's so mysterious, but it's so beautiful. It's a gift from the gods, it couldn't be anything bad. They wouldn't try to hurt us. It wouldn't hurt at all if I just took one little peek. She'd never know. No! Don't open it! <gasps> oh no! Oh my gosh! <gasps> All of the evil 
it's it's out. Wait a minute, there's something in here, under the rim. It's hope. 